there is a sort of element of becoming slightly obsessed with the cases. For some time now, there's been an increasing interest in true crime. And this trend has only sped up during the coronavirus pandemic. So why are so many people into the genre? I think people like to feel scared in a kind of controlled, safe way. Yeah, it's just the puzzle of it. Also, yeah, I'm really fascinated by the phenomenon of sort of web communities clustering around around true crimes. I think there's a bit of a natural tendency to pe for people to think, well, I can solve this, I can do a better job than, than the police. That's what keeps me coming back to these cases, trying to, to work out well, what did happen and will we ever know and how difficult it is to accept that we may never know. Exploring true crimes can be a way of exploring societies in which those crimes happened, as Claire has done in her recent audiobook, The Vanishing Triangle. The Vanishing Triangle is a William given to an area of Ireland where a number of women went missing in the 90s. So I wanted to kind of look at so something about the context of Ireland in the 90s that allowed this to happen. What I quickly discovered was this was a country that was going through absolutely massive change, religious, political, social, and also economic. The economy was just absolutely booming. The Celtic tiger, towards the end of that decade, would be taking over. I sort of started to wonder, did these disappearances, were they impacted by all of this change that was going on around them? Using true crime as a way to understand society and predict danger seems to be part of what attracts people to the genre. Can that explain why true crime is particularly popular with women? I think it's it's something to do with sort of exercising the fear of it all, the, the idea that these young women could be you. You know, this could be you, this could happen to you, if this could happen to her, it could happen to me. And somehow trying to deal with that fear by understanding it a little bit and maybe understanding why did this happen? And I think that's why we often get a sort of element of victim blaming. Still people will say, almost without thinking about it, oh, but she, she shouldn't have gone there. So women might be the biggest fans of true crime, but why are they also often the victims that it focuses on? It's true that, yeah, most of the, the big true crime stories, the victims are young women. Whereas actually, I believe if you look at the statistics, young men are more likely to be violently killed than young women. There is this sort of very visceral reaction to, to a young woman being murdered, particularly by a stranger. And in these cases, because the women are still missing, then we, never, we don't know if they're dead, we never found their bodies. That's a whole extra layer, I suppose, of, of mystery as well. The police in Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland were used to dealing with sort of political murders, sectarian murders. That's what they were looking out for. They didn't really have any experience dealing with abductions and sexually motivated murders. And I think, certainly to start with, they didn't believe that that kind of thing could happen in Ireland. Dealing with real life crimes, especially those in living memory, can mean treading on some shaky moral ground. So what might true crime look like if we focused on making it ethical? There's been some criticism of certain documentaries for, for kind of glamorising the murderer. And there's definitely been a bit of a movement to focus on the victims. Certainly what I've tried to do in my book is look at the look at the women, what we know of their lives and how did they get to this point and why did this happen in the first place? But also how were the cases treated afterwards? I think we want to try and understand how could people do these evil things. It's easier for us to say, oh, they were just really evil. Normal people couldn't behave like that. And I'm not sure that's really true at all. I think probably anyone's capable of doing bad things in the right circumstances. The appetite for true crime shows no sign of going away. And the reasons? It's a safe way of being scared, predicting danger, understanding society, and, well, we think we could be better sleuths than the police. But really, there are as many reasons for its appeal as there are theories around the crimes themselves.